Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the sharing features in Remnote, including importing, exporting, and sharing your documents with your friends or colleagues. This is definitely an area that we hope to expand on in the future with collaborative features and much more sophisticated sharing options. So as that rolls out, I will be remaking this video, but for now, let's get right into it. So first, let's talk about importing and exporting. You can import data into Remnote from other tools, tools like Roam Research or Dynalist or Obsidian or Anki, or just copy and paste. To import into Remnote, I'm going to go to the help icon at the bottom right of the screen, click on help and tutorials, and I'm going to scroll down to the import tab. Here you have options to import from any one of those sources that I just mentioned. It doesn't actually matter which one you choose because once you click on an import option, there's actually a drop down menu where you can choose which one you want to import from. And from here, it's pretty self explanatory. Just follow the instructions on screen to import that information into your database. I think some of these tools have different instructions on how to import your data. Yep. So just follow what's on screen here to import that into your knowledge base. And of course, the other way to access the import menu from your knowledge base is to use the Omnibar. You can use control plus backslash to pull up the Omnibar, just type in import and find all the import options you might want to use. And next, let's talk about exporting. Here at Remnote, all of your information is yours. All of your rem, all of your notes, we don't want them, we don't look at them, we don't need them for any reason. We want you to have full control of your information and we respect your privacy. And so for that reason, you can always export your entire knowledge base whenever you want if you want to use a different tool or just have a backup somewhere on your computer. Let's go over some of the options we have to export. You can export your rem as text, as markup, as HTML, however it's easiest for you. You can also print out your documents too. To export your rem, click on the three dot icon to access your page settings. That's at the top right of the screen. And if you scroll down, there's an option to print or export your REM. I'm gonna click print just to show you what it looks like. Pretty self-explanatory, just gives you a preview of what you're printing in Remnote, and you can save it as a PDF file to actually print. Next, I'm gonna click on the export options. When exporting your document, you can click on the drop-down menu and you can choose what type of file you wanna export, whether that's text, markdown, HTML, OPML, Anki cards, you name it. Clicking on any of these options will also show you a preview of what that's gonna look like once you export it. For example, if I hit Markdown, you'll see that the Markdown formatting is applied. If I hit HTML, HTML formatting is applied, so on and so forth. You also have options to customize how you wanna export it. Do you want your documents to appear exactly the way they do right now, opened up in RemNote, or do you wanna include all the hidden children in that rem? And since I accessed it through the page settings, only the specific page in Remnote is gonna be exported. But you also have the option to export your entire knowledge base if you want to by clicking on this button right here. And last but not least, let's talk about sharing in Remnote. You can share your knowledge base or certain Rem or documents with members of the community or your classmates if you would like to do so. To share your Rem, you're gonna do the same as export by going to the page settings at the top right of the screen and hitting on the share button. Here you have the option to share your documents as unlisted, meaning they're private and only someone with that link to your document can view it. Or you have the option to share it publicly. That way anyone who accesses the Alpha Remnote community can view and even import your rem into their own knowledge base. And you'll also see an advanced options tab, which I'll go ahead and click. And here you have the option of when you share a document, whether the person viewing it can actually study from it using a queue, or they can import that rem into their own knowledge base. If you don't want them taking your notes and you just want them to look at them, you can uncheck these boxes. Now when you share rem as public, it's actually going to go to our community rem note page, and you have to add a few more characterizing tags and descriptors to actually classify it appropriately. So let's go ahead and click on public. You can give your document a description, is in public document. And we also have some preset public categories so you can specify what kind of knowledge base you're actually sharing. So is this anatomy and physiology? Is it for SAT prep, math? I'm just gonna have a few of these checked. And once you're ready, go ahead and click share. Now when you share a document publicly in RemNote, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have the document name, and it's gonna say who it was written by and about how long it should take to read through the whole thing. 
if there were flashcards in this document that I just made and I enabled allow queue, it would also have a queue that's shown in the top of the screen. You also have additional sharing options here if you want to share it to Facebook or Twitter or by email or copy the link to share it more publicly. And if you ever want to unshare a document because you're embarrassed or you want to take it down for any reason, just go ahead and click on the page settings icon again, the three dots, and unshare this document. All right, that's everything in this video I want to cover about importing, exporting, and sharing REM with the community. I'm also going to leave a link in the description of this video if you want to access the Alpha RemNote community page to view all of the publicly shared documents in RemNote. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.